If you hadn't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Welcome back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another podcast with the King and I Life podcast with your host, Soul Touch of the Poet, Sun Soul X, and your Queen Phoenix. Today, we got a good one. Um, this is the forever debate about girl code versus guy code. Um, I'm sure we're going to spark up some spirit uh, discussion. Um, y'all out there, when y'all hear this, send us a voice message, shoot us an email. We want your feedback. And when we get enough feedback, we are definitely going to revisit this topic, share your feedback that you gave us. And hey, you never know, we might do it live and have a few, uh, few of y'all guests pop up on here and, and let the people hear what y'all got to say about this. So pretty much the background of, of this discussion, um, the person that suggested me this to me was talking about how, you know, if somebody's dating somebody, um, your friend should not date that person or whatever the case may be. Uh, the caveat to that is um, who is more likely to break that code? Are women more likely or men more likely? And the way that it was explained to me was, you know, girl, well, women, they have so many rules with that. And men are more loose with it because it's like, oh, it's just a, you know, a piece or whatever the case may be. Um, me, um, I don't know. I, I have I have my core beliefs, and then I have my flexible beliefs. But I want y'all to jump in and and give me y'all thoughts on that before we like really start diving into it. Um. My thoughts and my my history with the uh, guy code and girl code is we don't associate with the same females like that. Meaning your main chick. <laughs> I'm talking about when I when I when I was, I, was, I was sing a long time ago, a long time ago. <laughs> back then, back then. Way way back, way way back. <laughs> way, way back. <laughs> back back then, you know, back then. Oh man! But uh, when I was single. Uh, your main chick was off limits. There, there, there is no discussion with that. <clears throat> we as friends, we we don't mess with your your main chick. I don't care if y'all broke up or been apart for years. As true uh, homies as they say, we we just don't go there. We can talk to them. As far as like, if I see y'all in public, hey, how you doing? That's it. But as far as like actually uh, being intimate or having a relationship with that person, that's off limits. Now on the flip side of that, if it's just someone who's an associate or as they say, a cut buddy, hey, <laughs> do your thing, homie. Do your thing. You got my blessings, you know. Let me know what you, what you discover because I already know what I know. But as far as the code itself, those were the principles that uh, me and my my homeboys we dealt with. Oh, well, here comes the woman's perspective. <laughs> <laughs> Be ready. <laughs> <laughs> Most women. Um, I was always around a bunch of guys, so I viewed it differently. But the females that I would hang out with, it was in. I don't care if we dated when we were in kindergarten. No. Um, he's off limits. I never understood that. <clears throat> Mo mostly because the way I view it is if we, it depends on our friendship, first of all. Mm -hmm. So if you somebody I actually really, really deal with, then nine times out of 10, I've dealt with your, your ex on a more intimate level as far as us hanging out and going out as groups and doing group things. So absolutely not. But if we are in a big group 
and I just see him every now and again, hey, how you doing or whatever, and I don't really deal with you unless it's a group. So I guess it's I guess it's better to explain it like you're a friend of a friend that I, that we hang out with from time to time. All right. You're not actually my friend. You're just in the circle because of me and X over there. Mm -hmm. I don't view you as a friend. So your man is not off limits to me because I don't view you as a friend. Even though we might, you know, hang out from time to time in the same setting, I'm not your friend. I don't know you. Mm -hmm. And if you break up with him and he like me and I like him, you can best believe I'm going to talk to him. Because I don't know you. Okay. Like That's what's right. up. Don't get to it then. Yeah. Don't hold back. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and if you come to me and be like, hey, I think that's messed up for you. And I'm going to be like, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, well, you know, that used to be my man and me and him used to be together. Well, who he was with you is not who he is with me. So I don't even know the person that you used to talk to. I, I know a totally different person. Mm -hmm. for, for me, each relationship is different. So <clears throat> you never get the same version of somebody <clears throat> else. You, you even for guys with me, like, will I date? my ex's homeboy depends really depends now if that's really? his boy yeah now if that's his boy <laughs> if that's his boy no nah. but it's like i said if it's just somebody that i you know hey how you doing or yeah y'all was in the boys club together hanging out smoking cigars at the bar every now and again that ain't really your homeboy you just know him you just know him that ain't nobody that you kick it with and y'all, hey, let's meet up and go do this with. Mm -mm. I'm going to be up at the, I'm going to be at the next little gathering looking at you while you looking at me and him and telling him, boy, you all right. He ain't going to do nothing. Yeah. That's just, oh, okay. I just don't understand the whole, he was mine, so he's forever mine. And if I'm not your, if I'm not your main chick, that, that's that's something else. If I feel like I'm not your main chick, if I feel like you parading other chicks around, I'm going to act accordingly. You was a thought bot, so I'm going to be a thought bot. Let's see how you like it. <laughs> <That's me. laughs> yeah, I mean, I agree with you because um, if it's somebody that you rock with like that, then yeah, it's off limits because in, in the way I look at it like this, um, and, and and full disclosure, I've broken a man code before, but I I will say that never broken a girl code. if 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 it's some somebody that you really really close with like that, and and as you mentioned, you have a, a more intimate relationship with that person because you know that's your homie and your your homie significant other is like your homie, so it's like you know too much. And you're too close to yeah. that that situation for you to be like, oh, well, they broke up two, three, four, five years ago. Uh, we bump into each other, and now I, I have an interest in that. And it's like, I, to me, yeah, that's that's wrong. It is wrong. Yeah, foul. Um, but like, if we are just cool with each other, <clears throat> and that chick you mess with over there, she ain't that important to you, or whatever the case may be. It, it should be up for grabs. Um, but the problem is with that is, and I know with guys, and I know with females, but I'm going to speak for guys. Some guys have this insecure, um, uh, what's the other word? This, this, that's my toy mentality. And, <laughs> and, and they really get in their feelings. And it's like, but... You were just smashing that, and you got a chick at home, or yeah. you got yeah. you got mm -hmm. you got two or three girls that you call your main girls. Because I noticed, because you my boy, and you mad because she digging me or I'm digging her. I like, I, yeah, I thought Sharon was caring. Like, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, I mean, I I. Okay, I'll be honest about it. Completely totally honest. All cards on the table. When I was younger, meaning IE, high school. <laughs> high oh, you school, did some dirty stuff. Look, you did some dirty hey, stuff. If you break up with him, it's on. When I was in college, uh, 
I almost lost one of my best friends behind that that code <clears throat> because he, me and him were like this. I mean, we were really tight. And uh, he was dating this girl and lo and behold, she actually had a crush on me. She actually wanted to meet me before she met him, but mm. because she met him, that's the way it went. But after um, some time, you know, they broke up and she uh, actually bumped into me while we were, we were out. And we got to talking and blase, blase, to make a long story short, she and basically confessed to me, you know, I wish I would have talked to you first. So anyway, back then, me not fully understanding the the... What shall I say? The not fully understanding my actions of doing something like that. Um, I went with it. I went with <laughs> it, and uh, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. It was it was it was a good relationship that me uh -huh. and her had. But um, See? as time went on, my boy was really not feeling that shit. I mean, like really oh, wow. not feeling it. Like. How can you do this to me? We brothers. How you gonna go behind my back and blase blase? So to make a long story short, uh, I broke it off with her. Oh damn! My boy, uh, actually, we we were like brothers. We still like brothers. So I let it go. Um, do I think it was worth it to let it go at this point? I don't know. Because the thing that, is, that's I don't what know, I'm gonna but, say to you: Is that really your boy, though? Like, if he see that y'all happy, is it really your boy? You tried, it didn't work. But me and her, we got this great, crazy chemistry. We good, but you but, so selfish and your ego so bruised that you wanna, you want me to get rid of the the thing that makes me happy. Is that really your boy, though? I mean, really? But it is. I mean, in my opinion, uh, me and my boy Don, I'm gonna say his name, Don. I'm not gonna say his last name, but me and Don had been through some real shit, you know, together. Like, so goddamn broke, we we shared a goddamn candy bar, like that type of broke. Like the struggle is real, you know what I'm saying? So when he, you know, basically he was getting off the chain with it, and you know, at the end of the, that situation, he just came to me and like, man, I know you digging her but the shit is just rubbing me the wrong way. And it, it comes it was down jealousy. to, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't want to see y'all together because it hurts me too much. <laughs> because he was <laughs> jealous. And because he, he was jealous. Me, he was jealous. Jealousy. It was all boils down to jealousy. And if you my friend, that should never, I don't care what it is. I don't, if a job, a car, a person, Nothing should be more important than you loving me as a friend and wanting to see me happy. But here's Period. the flip side of that, though. Here's the flip side now. Oh, Lord. Um, here we go. After I broke up with her, um, she was devastated, of course. Uh, she mm -hmm. didn't understand why. She thought the whole guy code thing was a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> so in order to get back at me for hurting her, she got back with him. That was a hot no. mess. That's a mess. Yeah, that's, well, a, hot that's mess. a hot mess. Yeah, there was some but real the ghetto, ghetto type drama going on there. So, anyway. Y'all yeah. um, y'all had a thought bot and y'all was yeah, thought bot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, was, he did a couple of times and let her go. So, see, I, but I, you I, know, this really is what the he wanted thing, anyway. So. I was about to say, that's what he, he didn't want to see y'all happy because he's selfish. I don't care. He was selfish. She was like, I really want to be with you, but you don't want to be with me because of him. So I'm going to try to get back at you by getting back with him. And all he could think was, Oh, you've been with my boy, so I'm just going to smash you and pass you on, on off. And that's exactly it was a happened. bunch of childish, it's a bunch of childish mentality in that whole totally situation. Childish. It was childish. It was all childish. But at the end of the day, I just can't see myself standing in a way of somebody else's happiness. I tried. It didn't work with you. So if you if you feeling my girl and she feeling you and y'all actually really happy, I'm going to be happy for y'all. Because everybody deserves happiness. And if I couldn't give it to you, that don't mean she can't. So why am I going to be 
the only thing is when she come crying to me talking about girl he did X Y and Z I'd be like mm -hmm. I told you ass he wasn't no good and I'm gonna keep on pushing. <laughs> <laughs> but I think the thing is the the age that we're in. I mean we were eighteen. All of us were eighteen, I think, on the verge of turning yeah. nineteen, something like that. So at that that point, um, you really don't fully <laughs> understand the dynamics of you know the whole relationship thing like that. Oh, yeah, but I the, would have gladly let my ex-husband, while we were married at the time, leave me for one of them little dust buckets that I hung around with. Take your ass home. Wow. You can't come back. <laughs> wow. You cannot come back once oh. you go mess with that dirty bird. But, you know, I ain't going to be mad at her or him. Y'all happy? That's fine. Oh, dust my God. That sounds like, that sound like a low blow. They got to be dusty. <laughs> <laughs> they was dusty. <laughs> you little dusty asses. You no, little but, dusty um, tricks. I, I, I agree. I agree. I agree. But at the same time, that was your man. So you had intimate knowledge of that situation. So in a way, it was wrong. But um, you wasn't wrong. at 18, 19 years old, that really does not matter. Yeah. Because it's like... It's not a lifetime commitment. Right. It's like we, we doing what we doing. We holler about we love each other or we in love, but do... do are, are we really mentally there? No, I think it was we're just not. a lust thing right then. To be honest. Yeah, with you. And, and then and and then and then the, the thing that blows me about that part right there is he allowed himself or he allowed her to jump back into bed with him, knowing damn well she was doing that to spite you. Yep, that right there. I, I you ain't my man. I, exactly. I would have to question that. Wait, my man. I would have yeah. to question that. I mean, phrase. we not. I mean, we not. I'm not saying like you know he. I, I'm gonna put it like this. If y'all been through so much, my opinion. If y'all been through so much, dead broke, sharing a candy bar, blah 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 blah. I don't give a damn if you was laying up with my mama. If that's who made you happy, then bust a back out. But make for damn sure that you understand that this ain't going to be no ongoing thing. We not playing ping pong. I'm not going to keep passing you my broad. But right. this one time, <laughs> especially at 18, I don't care. Like, I don't care. I got bigger things to do with my life than be worried about a broad. Like, the fact that he went back, and, and it was, let's be realistic. Was he telling you, you know, oh, man, I'm in love with her. She the one. The whole time they was dating, he wasn't messing around on her or nothing. He was faithful, right? Uh, no. <laughs> and there, and there is my, my exactly. boy, my boy, my boy, right boy. There. You know what I'm saying? My boy and, was living and, his best life. I mean, and you that got, is my you point. Mean, you got, he didn't love her. He didn't want her. But he damn sure didn't want you to love her and be happy with her either. That's, because that's, how dare you? How dare you be happy with something that he that he fucked over? How dare you? Have the my, my thing was, I wasn't really that. mad about it, though. You know what I'm saying? It's like... Of course not, you know, because cool. even though you liked her, you and wasn't looking her, for a lifetime. Like, this is going to be the one for the rest of my life type. You know what I'm saying? It just Exactly. So so you had the right mentality. Thinking. Yeah, you had the right mentality, but your boy didn't. Your yeah. boy didn't have the right mentality, because yeah. he should have been like that. Because that would have been something I would have came up in the room talking about. Like, Did she do that tongue twisty curly thing yet? <laughs> oh, wait till you get that. <laughs> exactly. And, and that, you know, and, and that's the crazy part because, and, and, and that goes into, you know, who's more likely to stick to the, to, the, to the code, men or women. And I think even at that age, I think women are more likely to stick to the code than men are because men have that fragile ego thing or that over masculine ego thing. And if I see you got like five girls and you don't give a damn about this one and she give me some play and I jump in the bed with her and now you ain't get feelings. I'm like, hold up. What about them over there? You know, you, 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 you giving rhythm everywhere else, but you mad at me for smashing that? Like, Nah, bro, you can't do that. And that's the thing about it all right there is my experience on, um, you know, those situations like that, I don't even hold on to that shit like that. I be like, homie, I'll hook you up with her. You know what I'm saying? Like, Ebony, yeah. bro, it really don't matter to me like that. Like I said, as long as it ain't my main chick, 
I don't give a damn what you do. I, you I don't know. Number? Let me call her and see if I can give you her phone number. I am. Because it, it's nothing. I am, you know I am. what I mean? If you just a side piece or were a side piece to me at that particular space and time in my life, that's all you you were, and that's all I was to you. So I'm not gonna get in my feelings if one of my homeboys like, hey, I know that ain't your your, your number one. So what's up? Oh, you 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 into it like that? Well, let me let me see what I can do to hook you up, homie. It's nothing. See, and and Soul Toucher was saying you think that the girls stuck to the code more so than the boys. Not at all. Well, now it, some women gonna be mad at me for this. Uh, they gonna be but mad I'm at all three of us. <laughs> We're gonna get some comments. Women don't give a rap about no cold. They're gonna do what they do. They're just sneaky with it. Mm -hmm. They will be sitting beside you <clears throat> having mimosas on Sunday brunch with your man dingling on their lip from the night before. And you'll never know. So that so if they willing to sleep with your one you got now, do you think at any point that they stop to think about sleeping with somebody you used to go with? Hell no. But will you ever know? Hell no. It's stuff that women will take to their grave. Some, in some cases. But Every time. <laughs> in some cases, but, you know, that's another topic. 90% of that's the another women topic. that... 90% <laughs> of the women that I know don't give a rap that you used to go with so-and-so. Mm. I don't care. Unless it was a marriage that produced children, women really don't care. Mm. Unless you was grimy and that was your homegirl, homegirl, they don't really care. Mm. They don't. I have too many females around me that I be looking at and be like, that's why I don't fool with females. Because I have to get a charge. I bop that hoe upside her head. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> I see too much just sitting back watching even the females that I do know, watching them operate and work. Females don't care about that. 90% of them just don't care. Oh, well, so what? Uh, the, oh, girl, they went together back... Two years ago, they was together in 2015. I ain't studying her. She don't matter. Whole time, the whole time you saying it don't matter, you got your lip poked out because now your ex is talking to some chick that stayed three doors down from you in an apartment complex. You don't know her mm -hmm. from a can of paint, but you're still mad because y'all still stayed in the same apartment complex, but you have no problem sleeping behind one of your so-called friends. I just, most women are, they, they a little shifty. They a little shifty. I'm going to say that. <laughs> so is the cold so. seriously realistic nowadays, though? No. I don't think that, I don't think it ever really was. It, I, I think it's an individual thing and a moral thing that is from one person to the next. Would I ever sleep with one of my close friends, men? No. But that's only because we've had intimate conversations about said relationship. Right. So I don't, I wouldn't ever, because I know exactly what kind of person it is. Not saying people don't change, but at this age, it's just a no for me. But had you called me when I was in my 20s living my best life, <laughs> I might, I might take a ride on the carousel. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, the, the other crazy thing about that, um, just to even, even if the, the, the code was realistic, there are people out there, men and women, who will deliberately go after whoever you're dealing with. And it, it doesn't matter if you have two and three women that you're dealing with or two or three men that you're dealing with. There are people out there who will deliberately go out there and, and chase down anybody that you're messing with just because they're jealous of how you move. And I've had that happen Very to true. me so many damn times. Like, I, oh, you know, your boy tried to talk to me, blah, blah, blah. Like, what you tell him? I told him, blah, blah, blah. And I'm looking at you like, now you told me this four and five times. So at, at what point do you tell him to leave me the, the hell alone because you know I'm talking to your boy. And at that point, you know, it's like, I don't get mad because I'm like, I don't own you. So I would prefer that you didn't do that because it, at the end of the day, 
you're going to be made to look the fool, not me and not him. Um, but people do that, so yeah. And see, that's a, that's that that cold thing. That's the whole. It's double standard. It is. It's way double standards because if if guys do it, then it's bros before before hoes. She got to be a hoe because she didn't jump from friend to friend. But if girls do it, like I said, they're hoes. I mean, just flat out, they're just hoes. Oh, well, you know, you was with my boy. You know, you was you used to be with my boy. It, it becomes a weapon. Um, in female cliques, when dudes get passed around from friend to friend, women might sit back and be like, oh, he ain't no good, he a dog. But at the end of the day, that's all that's said about him. So my thing about codes, again, are they, they're personal. It, it really depends on the person themselves. It's yeah. not a code, it's a moral thing. Mm -hmm. I feel like the, the code isn't realistic. I feel like just on a moral ground, where do people stand? Yeah. Me, myself, personally. Do women have unreasonable rules? Hmm. Give me an example, guys, so I can see where this, right. where we're I going with this. <laughs> I, <will. laughs> I got one particular situation in mind. All right. So there's this chick that me and my homeboy, we both knew her. Neither one of us had you know, had been with her like that, uh, gone out, kicked it a few times with her. But then she comes up with this whole thing of, okay, you know what? I like both of y'all, but I ain't going to mess with either one of y'all because I like both of y'all. But then you mess with our other homeboy. Wait, a third of you? <laughs> Get the hell out of here. How the hell is that a rule? Please give me some, some insight gotcha. on that. <laughs> wait a minute. Crazy, man. Wait, 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 wait. So she see two, the two of y'all, and she's not right. going to mess with y'all, but yeah. she's going to mess with the with the heel of the group. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so I they guess flip. the question would be, I guess the question would be, the the two of you that she liked were y'all always running around together? Um, uh, pretty much, pretty much. What about the third guy? Third guy, he came around every now and then, but he wasn't really. That's why. Like, in our clique, like so that. Mm. exactly. So in her mind, you two were really friends, and she didn't want to choose between two friends because she knew that was gonna make somebody feel some type of way. The third guy that she decided to mess with, he only came around every now and again, so he wasn't really truly a friend. He was just an acquaintance that hung out with y'all sometimes. So nobody had any reason to have bad blood. But for mm -hmm. the most part, women sit back and we analyze and we often call yeah. audibles and sometimes they're not right. But on that particular one, I understand exactly where she was coming from. She saw y'all two as being cool. I like both of y'all. I really don't want to choose because I don't want to you know, mess up any kind of friendship y'all got. But Bobby Joe over here, he ain't really tied to y'all like that. And I don't give a damn if y'all stop talking to him or he call himself not liking y'all no more. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so. Okay. Uh, that's all I was asking for. I, I still don't get it, but hey. Yeah. A little bit I, closer to the understanding it now. I, I totally agree with that because um, she she had morals in what she was doing. Um, exactly. And And I mean, I, I I guess it's commendable, but at the end of the day, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I I guess I mean, because like... because my thing my thing is this: it's 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 a group of dudes. She likes two of them, well, really likes two of them, but she settled for the one that's not you know whatever. But but the thing about it is, and when I was having the conversation with the person that brought me this this to me, you know, you you have a group, and one person is interested in somebody and well let me leave I'll, I'll leave i'll touch that later but she she could have chose whoever she wanted to choose and not hurt anybody because it's not like she was with any of y'all how it's like how are you hurting anybody if you see these three dudes and 
you know, ain't nobody making no moves, but she got it in her head. She, she's scoping the crew out. She's checking the landscape and seeing who she gonna holler at. And she said, oh, well, y'all too close. I like y'all both, but I ain't gonna mess with y'all. It's like, you, re- you have no loyalty or, or anything towards anybody at that point. So she could have chose anybody and, and you know, the, the victor get the spoils. All right, so I'm going to leave it with this. Uh, my boy was cool with it. I was cool with it. You can do us both. Exactly. And with that, we are going to end the first part of the Girl Code versus God Code.